Boise State safety Quentin Michael may be the best player in the Western Athletic Conference, and he'll need his best game today if they are to stop the double-edged passing and scrambling threat of this man, Iowa State senior quarterback Seneca Wallace. to a sold-out Bronco Stadium in beautiful Boise, Idaho for the 6th Annual Crucial.com Humanitarian Bowl featuring the Broncos of Boise State and the Cyclones of Iowa State. And Boise State has won the toss and elected to take the football. And David Michael will try to pull that one back to the, about the 20-yard line. This man who triggers it all. Junior quarterback Ryan Dinwiddie out of Elk Grove, California. He missed four games this year with a broken right leg suffered against Arkansas back on September 7th. His backs and receivers, well, keep an eye on Western Athletic Conference Offensive Player of the Year, senior tailback Brock Forsey. He gets it done. Also leads the nation, by the way, in scoring. Dinwiddie back to pass, has his completion and immediately nailed. It'll be ruled incomplete at the 21-yard line. Well, up front for the Broncos, the strength of their offensive line, right up the middle, three seniors, Huff at center, and Bayan and Navis are the guards. All the pressure from this unit comes from the right side, where Jordan Karstens and Tyson Smith combined for 24 tackles behind the line of scrimmage. His head was in the game right off the bat. Second and 10 for the Broncos. And Forsey will get the handoff and be nailed with uh, maybe... A half a yard. Lloyd is a Deems defensive co-MVP. He was the MVP a year ago at the uh, Main State Independence Bowl against Alabama. We talked about the safeties. The new starters were are Anthony Forrest and Steve Parrish. Now, Forrest has played a lot, but Steve Parrish, he's new, he's young, very inexperienced. Third and 11, opening possession for the Broncos. Dan Woody looking deep and overthrows the intended receiver. For the Broncos, punting from his own seven-yard line, just does get it off. And Todd Miller will take it on his 40, cut back. He's already returned two for touchdowns this year. And be swung, no, still on his feet, up to midfield. Well, the Cyclones of Iowa State are led by Sacramento, California, senior quarterback Seneca Waddles, the Heisman Trophy candidate and Johnny Unitas finalist on so many single-season records. And their backs and receivers, co-offensive MVP, Lane Danielson, only the second Cyclone in school history to exceed 1,000 yards in a single season. First attempt for the Cyclones, they will put it up. Zach Butler at center, and left guard Bob Montgomery are both second team all Big 12 selections. Bobby Hammer at defensive end has been the team's most outstanding defensive lineman for the second year in a row now. One of the strongest players on the team. Inside handoff to Brian Thompson, and he will be swarmed under. They have lost about a yard. Andy Avalos leads the team with 94 total tackles. Quentin Michael at strong safety has started every game of his Bronco career. 50th start today. Opening possession for the Cyclones, third and 11. Rain is falling. It's a uh, turn to freezing rain. It may be snow before halftime. And the walls are tucking and running. He does it so well. And Scamper inside the 45 will be right near the first down marks. About a yard max. Didn't play quarterback until the wide receiver got hurt, much to the Cyclones relief. He's been quarterback ever since. And yeah, very inspirational story about Seneca. Steve Brinke, the offensive coordinator. Remember what happened to uh, the Broncos against Arkansas, they, who just used their physical. This up front, and Seneca Wallace tucks it and runs 30 25, chased out of bounds at the 25 yard line. Opening drive for the Cyclones. Again, looks downfield, has a receiver at the 20, inside the 15. That is Lane Danielson. 
Lane Danielson has really been the go-to guy. As you see, Seneca Wallace, take, take a look. We'll see what happened to Seneca after he made the throw. There was a blitz coming by Boise State. He got rid of it, and it looks like the defensive end just rolled into it. And boy, what a blow for the Iowa State Cyclones this would be. And he's not putting any weight. Oh, big kid, 6'5", 215, not a runner, more of a drop-back passer. You saw his numbers there a moment ago. And penalty flag slide. Low. You saw the signal there by our referee commentarily. Meanwhile, the cyclone drive continues. And dropping the ball is Love. He picks it up and will be tackled for a loss at about the 19. Backup quarterback Love on the option. will keep it. 15 down to the 12-yard line. Third and 10 for the Cyclones, trying to get in the end zone. In the opening possession, pass is thrown away by Love. Stings for a couple of seconds, and you need a little break in order to get that pain out of there before you find out how badly it really is hurt. It looks like Seneca may be okay. 30 yard field goal attempt for Adam Beneke, the first team All Big 12 kicker, is up and good. And the Cyclones are on the board first here at Bronco Stadium. The big concern, though, not on the field, on the bench, their leader, Seneca Wallace. And really important to get that kind of lead, especially with Seneca Wallace sitting on the sideline. And Tony Young kicking off. <clears throat> Brock Forsey takes it back. Has an opening near side, 40, 45, and finally brought down at the 46-yard line. Of Timmons and Billups, so they lose the depth there as well. Second possession of the game for the Broncos, and that pass complete. They played the rest of the year on that ankle. Wasn't 100%. Just now, though, is healthy. And movement will cost them five yards. Referee. Part of the snap. Full start. Off it. Five yard penalty. Then at 7.30 Eastern, Casey Clausen leads the Tennessee Volunteers against E.J. Henderson and the Maryland Terrapins. <clears throat> Everybody trying to dump it off, and it is incomplete. Again, it is raining, and it may turn to sleet. Some snow before the day is over. Dinwiddie he back to pass, looks deep, has a receiver downfield, and just quite can't get to it. That is Jay Swilly. They call him first down Jay. Todd Miller back to receive. A high floater, and Miller will take it. Does not fair catch now, as the penalty flags will come in for the halo violation. And again, what? Uh, we're not going to be able to pick up the call here. The halo violation. One. And thanks, Mike. We appreciate your involvement in college football. Iowa State back on offense, and no Seneca Wallace. Love the backup quarterback. Hands off inside. A big hole for Michael Wagner. A lot of special events for the players here. The humanitarian bolt, handoff, and stood up is Wagner again. You know, Doc, the fact that he's not being attended to and he's still on the field is huge for Iowa State. Here in the Crucial.com humanitarian bolt. Love back to pass. And has a receiver down inside the 50. That's a tight end, Kyle Knock. Second Iowa State Cyclone drive. Here in the uh, midpoint of the first quarter. Hand off the tailback, and he is swarmed. They call him the Untouchables. Frank Beamer's bunch from up at Virginia Tech. Later today, and they fumble the snap. Love did not get a hold of it. Love looking downfield, has a receiver, and whistles will blow. Prior to the snap. Delay a game. Offense. Hand off to uh, Michael Wagner. He will get maybe a yard, yard and a half. Tim Gilligan, who never fair catches a punt, waiting to receive back on his own 15. High floater. Gilligan is on 10. Cuts it back and will be tackled. Offensive MVP. Washington Athletic Conference. And you might notice I have a little bit of laryngitis. Uh, you might know the doctor is laryngitis. I apologize for your, my squeakiness here. A time of possession, nine and a half minutes for Iowa State, only two and a half for the Broncos. Handoff again to Forsey, and he fights his way up to the 30-yard line. Dinwiddie seven times in the first half. A lot of that by bringing pressure. Dinwiddie back to pass, looks up field, and... Trying to get back to the football, but can't get there. Even though it's not complete, you got to put that thought in their head. Inside handoff to Forsey, battling forward. And Dinwiddie overthrows the receiver. That was 
the uh, running back, Corsi. Tech 45 against Troy State. And Shutler will get it off a low end over end. That'll bound out of bounds. A very short kick at about the 43. You can see it led to those 17 interceptions. Back to pass is Love, and he couldn't hold on. Look at that turf a moment ago. We'll ask Heather to tell us about this turf here a little bit since she lives here in Boise. And nothing doing whatsoever for Brian Thompson. Also a starter as well as backup DB Nick Mosier. Now that fourth DB Nick Lender is also out for the game with an injured knee. So they are very, very weak in the secondary gym. End of the quarter. and We'll go to break. We'll be back for the start of the second quarter of Iowa State punting to the Boise State Broncos. <laughs> go the length of the field to get any points and kick almost blocked they hit the kicker and the flag will come down and it looks like uh, if it is roughing running into the kicker defense that penalty's declined first no this Iowa State defense has really shut them down then he's only one for seven for seven yards and course he makes the catch up over the 25 and is nailed Panuki on the reception, and he will have the first down up over the 30-yard line. Yep. I think Dinwiddie is struggling a little bit with his confidence right now because he hasn't had a start like this in many games. Handed off to Forsey, and he will get up over the 30. Boise State's only loss this year came at Arkansas. A big physical defensive line. The not let this offense get untracked, and that's what Iowa State has done so far. Pass intended upfield for Billy Wingfield. And they still view that ball would have been catchable. And Michael, he's the speedster. David Michael gets the handoff. Deepest penetration of the day by the Broncos, and Forsey tries to cut it back. Yep. Heather, one of the things, the longer you stand on the sideline in the cold weather, the more tight that knee's going to hurt and, and the tighter it's going to get. If they want to get him in, I think they need to do it quickly. Forsey, great call, the screen pass, Paul Conference Center. First and ten for the Broncos, and they will hand it up on the end of rounds, and that is Swilly, and he will get inside the 20. The nation's leading offense in terms of scoring. The Broncos thus far scores, averaging over 46 points a game. Hand off to Michael, he will cut it back and be stacked up. And the Volunteers and the Terrapins in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. It should be a good one down in Atlanta. Here is Dinwiddie. He has a receiver and can't get to it. Pass intended for Matt Strophus. <laughs> Fourth and a yard for the Broncos. This crowd of partisan Bronco fans. 30,000 here, about 27,000 of them are Boise State fans. And 4C will get the first down inside the 15. Being able to see the lanes, and that's exactly what Forsey did a moment ago. Saw the lane and cut it back for the first down. Well, you could sure pick a lot worse heroes than Walter Payton. No doubt about that. Forsey again on the pitch. Five-yard, three-yard line, and he is finally brought down on a touchdown-saving tackle. Indeed, had hard to keep the balls dry on a day like today. And these teams don't play football, but they run it for the score. Brock Forsey will come in from five yards out, and the Broncos are on the board. Nick Kaliakai with the extra point is up and good. So the Broncos on top 7-3 here in the second quarter of the Iowa State. This is how they do this. So a five-yard run by Forsey behind some great blocking. Gets the Boise State Broncos the lead for the first time, and they're happy about that. Here. As Tyler Jones will kick it deep. And Lance Young will have it at his own 15. We'll see what his health is like. We just joined our coverage. Wallace uh, hit on that left ankle and knee after throwing a pass in their first possession. And now the first time back on the field, the pass is a little short. It, what will the passes do? Your balls will go high. You won't be able to follow through. They'll sail on you, especially in this wind and rain. We'll see if he throws the ball high. He throws it perfectly. That time to Lance Young. I, I think he's okay. 
Panther third the yard, and they give it to the tailback, and he will be stood up right at the mark. People in Iowa State aren't surprised. They seem to do it all the time. People throughout the country, that's an amazing play. Phenomenal athlete, Seneca Wallace, and this time he hands it off to Brian Thompson. The final day of the season for us as far as bowl games are concerned. I get a little bit of scratchy throat. Second down, and they hand it off inside on the draw to Thompson. To extend that Seneca Wallace is a cross between Charlie Ward and Michael Vick. Pretty high regards there. Wallace scrambling around, back to pass. Will tuck his three. Dangerous, 35-40, and is nailed out of bounds at about the 42-yard line. On that defense, do we hit him, do we not? This time, you see the flag was thrown by both officials. Cyclones on the move once again. They're only scoring a field goal on the opening possession in the first quarter. Wallace will pitch it back to Danielson. He looks to throw, though, keeps it in runs. And will be inside the 40. Second and five. So, uh, oh, he stepped across. Yeah. Offside, defense. First down. A penalty for the first down right there, and the penalty personal foul hitting Wallace late out of bounds. Again, Wallace on the option will keep it, tuck it up inside the 30, runs out of bounds. Down his neck, and his grandparents gave him the day before his mom was buried at a funeral. With a cross, he will not go anywhere with that necklace. So, an inspirational young man. Third and three, he gives you so many options. Seneca Wallace, 205 for 21 yards, throwing the football. Again, the option, and he will pitch it this time to Brian Thompson. He will scamper down inside the 20. So Thompson gets the first down. A finalist for the Johnny Unitas Golden Arm Award. Also an early season Heisman Trophy candidate. Back to throw, looks near side, and has a receiver. That is Lance Young, the speedster. 12th play the drive, and... Good defense there, but the Broncos got to protect the ball here. Seneca Walsh throwing 18 interceptions this year. Protect the ball. Don't take any points off the board. Seneca looking down inside the 10, and they will say he caught the football. Seneca Wallace back in the football game after leaving in the first quarter for a knee or ankle problem on the left side. Inside handoff to Wagner. Let's check in back in the studio with Dan on the side. Seneca fakes the handoff, rolls, look for a receiver, looking for the tight end who's covered in the end zone, and he will dance out. Third and goal, final two and a half here in the first half. Iowa State trying to retake the lead, and touchdown, Cyclones. Great throw, great catch. Jamal Montgomery, only six foot, gets good position. First team all Big 12 kicker. And the kick is up and good. And the kick is good. Two minutes, 29 seconds. Take a look at Seneca Wallace getting the ball to Montgomery. Throws the perfect pass. Put the Cyclones back in the lead. And you can see the reaction afterwards. They're happy to have him on the field. He makes the people around him better. And Benicky will kick it away uh, deep to Brock Forsey on his own five. He cuts it back, has a seam over the 25, and that's where Boise State. Final 219 to go. It's crucial.com humanitarian ball until halftime. Iowa State has been able to maintain the intensity that they started the game with for the entire half. Then when he finds a receiver, that's Wingfield. And Reese Trev and Mark at halftime updating what's happening on Capital One Bowl Week. Forcey gets the handoff and steps out of the tackle. Boise State with the ball, trying to work their two-minute offense. And Moody back to pass and bounces off the intended receiver. That is David Michael. Leading a nation in total offense and points, but struggling here in the first half. The Broncos of Boise State. Then Moody has a receiver and incomplete. Intended for Billy Wingfield. And 
the low wobbler will hit at about the 27 and roll down to the 26. A little bit over that, but appears to be back in the game and healthy now as Iowa State tries to run their two-minute offense. And the draw inside to Wagner, Michael Wagner. He's got some good weapons on the outside to get involved here. Final seconds of the first half. Wallace throws the pass again to Wagner, and he is shoved out of bounds. Why they've only got seven points. They haven't had a lot of opportunities. Wallace lost it upfield. It's tipped, and it will fall incomplete. And the punt is away as the flag comes down again, and... Gilligan will take the uh, punt, but it'll probably come back. Running into the kicker, defense, five-yard penalty, the yardage results in the first down. This is right there. Huge for Iowa State having him back in this game. Final 15 seconds. Seneca back to pass. He's being chased. Looking upfield and almost has it picked off. I'm sure folks who watch the Big 12 year round will know that he can get it done when he is forced out of the pocket. Final seconds of the first half. Pass is out of bounds. Incomplete. Final two seconds here in the first half. Wallace will take it himself. And that will be the final play of the first half here. A big half for Iowa State Cyclones coming in as a 12-point underdog. They have dominated both sides of the ball in line of scrimmage and lead by three here at halftime. With Iowa State up by three. Reese? Right now we are set for the second half kickoff here in the Crucial.com Humanitarian Bowl. Tyler Jones' kick will be taken three yards deep in the end zone. will take it, calls on number 25, 30, and backpedals, and turned out to be even a bigger play. Inside handoff and nailed at the point of attack. The boys can stay and play physical. And uh, he didn't, uh, he did not get there. They will mark him about six inches shy, put it away for Iowa State. And a high floater taken down at the 35 by Gilligan. And he will not get even a half a yard. He is nailed. At the halo violation, the halo rule was, was uh, convened by the almost unbeatable here. But right now they trail to Iowa State. 4C running with uh, an attitude here. Not to emphasize the importance of time of possession in the second half. This is a very confident Bronco team on the blue turf. And they're working, twerking for him on the conference is showing through four wide receivers set to completion to Billy Wingfield. Opening drive, second half for Boise State. Then when he fakes the handoff, looking deep, has a receiver in the end zone. It's Swilly, and no flag there. The defender playing Swilly. This is probably a better angle right there. Clear contact made before the ball got there. That easily could have drawn a flag. I'm not so sure I would uh, agree with the no call there either. Second and ten. Opening possession, second half for the Broncos. Wide open again is Wingfield. Side steps a tackler and runs out of bounds. As we kick off our New Year's Eve coverage here. Little college football fireworks, ESPN style. Then when he looks back, Wingfield has the reception and gets brought down at about the six. Very efficient in the red zone this year. First and goal, opening second half possession, 4C. And he will be stopped. He must. And the pitch back, 4C will score. Touchdown for Boise State. As Nick Goliath Kai will add the extra point. It is up and good. And now the Broncos move back out top by four. Opening possession of the second half. Physical up front. And I'm about one drop. Forcing, yeah, I'm coming in from two yards out. Broncos retake the lead. Came out with gorgeous area up here in Boise, Idaho. And Tyler Jones will kick it away. Lance Young waits at his own one. 
side, 25, and flags come in. We're going to go against Iowa State for an illegal block in the back. Deep in their own territory. And the handoff to Wagner. He is chased out. He may have gotten the yard. Maybe the best football player, if you talk to the coaches, in the entire Western Athletic Conference. Second down inside, handoff, big hole, left side, and up to the 15 comes Wagner. He's now in the NFL, and this year they did not get the production they wanted from the tailback spot. Third and a couple, and Seneca looks up field, blows it out of bounds, got some pressure. And a low end over end kick, taken at midfield, and immediately brought down. Here in the third quarter, with Boise State up by four, over Iowa State. Long pass downfield and reaching out for it is Lou Finucchi. He can't get there. Then Winnie, 10 of 20, throwing the football for 96 yards. And this time he will hand it off inside the Forsey again. And still on his feet, fighting down. Before Iowa State was invited, tell me about your reactions when you heard the Cyclones would be here. Uh, well, it was a pleasant surprise. You know, it was. Uh, it's a lot of fun watching watching the Cyclones and being a part of it, so we were real excited. He must be a Randy Wright kind of athlete. Just incredible. You know, Doc, I don't know if I've ever done anything 159 <laughs> times. <laughs> I've missed shots. Here comes the end of the round. Fanuki's got some speed. 30-25. Cuts it back. And had to get by one more block. It couldn't quite get it. Mad word. Boy, Bill Curry would have loved that block. He loves seeing those centers do that downfield. Most centers don't run that well. Well, it's got excellent feet. The inside hit up, cuts it back. Forsey inside the 10-yard line. Second and five. They will hand it off to Michael in the backfield. Cuts it back, following his blockers, and pushes the pile down to about the six-yard line as well. But the big guys up front, uh, Randy, are getting the job done. The offensive lineman. Big hole right side. Pushes quickly for Forsey. And Nick Leaders, the fourth of the yard. You've got the best offense in the nation. Sure, you're going to go for it, right? Lone setback is Forsey. He gets the ball, cuts it inside, three-yard line. He will have the first down, make it first and goal. No doubt about that. First and goal. Ben Whitty fakes the pitch, rolls right. Tries to keep it himself down to the one-yard line. Reaches for the goal line and no signal. They say he did not, he did not quite get there. Dan Winnie, the first team, all whack selection. Coming up the 10th play of the drive. Quarterback sneak and touchdown for Boise State. This crowd is saying, yeah, that's what we're accustomed to seeing here on, <laughs> all year long. Physical football could setting kicker here for Boise State will add the extra point. And on consecutive scores, the second half, it's 21-10 on two possessions. They are up by 11. And Seneca Wallace and company getting set to go back on offense here. Todd Miller in his own five, cuts it back. And will be brought down at the 20-yard line. Heard had the report that earlier, but uh, they are playing some second and third teamers in their secondary, but let's see if the cyclone offense can get on track. Wallace looking deep, upfield, and Lane Danielson couldn't quite get there. But that frustrating and, uh, as they put it, embarrassing loss on their home field up at Ames to finish the year against Connecticut. Wallace has a receiver, and great coverage coming at the last minute third and ten for the cyclones third consecutive possession they have yet to move out of the shadow of their own end zone here in the second half wallace 0 for six on his last passes this one overthrown intended again for Whitford. trying to hold on rank 15th in the country and get a win great punt what a rocket mortar shot by blankenship all the way back at his own 25 as gilligan has a scene Gilligan could go, and Blankenship, the punter, brings him down, trips him up. Then when he back the pass, and he will be leveled back at his own, uh, back of about, about the 47. Then when he once again looking upfield, 
Now tuck it himself and throws it across the middle and Swilly could not hold on. Jay Swilly. You get the feeling if this Iowa State defense doesn't stiffen and they give up any more points, the offense is not in any kind of rhythm. It may be insurmountable. Well, then when he getting up to Wingfield actually stumbled and fell. I mentioned earlier he has two punt returns for touchdowns this year. And Miller will let that one hit at about the four stops. Almost takes a knuckleball roll and bounds into the end zone. And I got an escort by my receiver, Jamal Montgomery. And that was the player of the year. Yeah, I indeed that was. And by the way, that's the play everybody talked about. Four things to happen. That's where the turnovers come. They're down 21 to 10, but he's got plenty of time. He needs to be patient. And uh, and nothing going. Hiawatha Rutland run out of bounds. Third and ten for the Cyclones. Wallace tucks it up. 25 hunts it to the 30 yard line. Kick. And loses the shoe. And will go down at about the 22. From the 54 yarder. This time he gets another good kick. High floater down to Tim Gilligan, and it'll be go out of bounds as they'll mark it out up around the 40-yard line. Beautiful early in the week here. As they hand it off this time to Panuki, he cuts it back, still dancing around, and will lose maybe a yard. I've got a couple of assistants that are in their 20s. Hawkins, the head coach, the oldest, he is 42. Ben Rooney with the pass completion. No, they say he did not have possession. Western Athletic Conference champion Boise State. Perfect 8-0 record. Up by 11 here. As Tim Winnie looks to throw it downfield one more time. Going deep. And overthrows the intended receiver, Jerry Smith. And, out and now look to get what should be a decent field position. And it's blocked as Shuttler recovers the block. The great field position, Anthony Forrest. The strong safety in for the Cyclones. Doc, I don't think they can do it without getting their wide receivers involved. They've got to start throwing the ball. And they hand it off. Big hole right side for, for Wagner. And ball comes out. And looks like Boise State has jumped on the turnover ball. Well, the change of possession. Wagner gets through the hole, but gets popped, and the ball comes out. Boise State's football when we come back. Firmly in control of the game. Starting the fourth quarter here, and they'll keep it on the ground. Forsey cuts it back up to about the 25-yard line. Pulled his helmet off. We'll check on that momentarily. Heather will have an update. And off again, and stop the line of scrimmage. First minute of the fourth quarter here at Bronco Stadium in Boise, Idaho. Broncos trying to keep their drive alive, and that pass right up at the first down marks. Like to run time off of the clock. High formation for the Broncos, a running formation. Tail Michael get it. That's Michael. He's the speedster, still on his feet, fighting up near the 40-yard line. Trying to burn the clock here. Iowa State owned the time of possession in the first half. And off again, the tailback. And Michael will get... Dinwiddie is pulled down by Anthony Forrest. He won't miss the rest of this one, Jerry. What a tough young man. Brock Forsey, offensive player of the year in the conference, and there's the pass completed to Wingfield. Back to Miller on his own 18. And great block, but Miller can't quite get sprung free. And in part by Capital One. And back to play here with the Cyclones on offense for the first time in the fourth quarter. And pass complete upfield. Zero passing yards here in the second half until that last play. Wallace fakes a handoff. Has another receiver under throws. Second and ten for the Cyclones. 10.45. All that's left to play here in this crucial.com humanitarian ball. Again complete upfield. Near the midfield mark with Lane Danielson. First and ten midfield. Best drive of the second half for Iowa State. And gaining of a couple there is Brian Thompson. 
What a year Iowa State has had playing one of the toughest, if not the toughest, maybe the second, I think it's ranked second toughest schedule in all of the NCAA Division I. Stepping out of the tackle, up to the 45, that is Brian Thompson, the freshman. Down big to Iowa, came back and won that game and gave the Hawkeyes their only loss. Seneca floats one up field, and did he make the catch? No, he couldn't quite hold on. Great acrobatic effort on by 11, fourth and four. All around the scrimmage, the 44-yard line. Seneca, short drop, rifles the pass, and not able to hang on. Had the first down, he can hold on. Jack Whitfer, Horsey back in, he's the lone setback. Expected to run the football, and great defensive penetration by Matt Word. When they played Alabama, and lost a heartbreaker there by one point late in the game. Peterson and Ron Collins both up there calling the shots. Peterson, the offensive coordinator. And then Moody back to pass. And there was contact before the ball got there, but no flag. Yes, and uh, the interference, or, or I guess there was no interference. Here's the punt. He still showed you the interference. He just wasn't a flag. And Doc Miller takes it at his own 25. Still on his feet. Great balance by Miller. And, and came back and beat Iowa and almost beat Florida State on the final play of the football game. And they're not going to be anybody if they don't start catching the football. And the rain's are letting up a little bit here in the fourth quarter. Zach Wallace, only two of his last 13 attempts. Once again, and trying to get the ball to his top receiver, Lane Danielson. Wallace gets some pressure, dumps it over the middle, and called to Boise State's defense. Stopping this offense, and Blankenship nearly gets it blocked. It was tipped. And I take it, that's some Gilligan up across midfield. Big 12, Iowa State. They lost to Arkansas at Arkansas early in the year. Lost to Washington State on this field last year. School record 97-yard touchdown catch early in the year against Louisiana Tech. Hand off inside to Michael. That's David Michael. The crucial .com humanitarian bowl here at Bronco Stadium. Hand off to Michael. Breaks one tackle, bounce up, carries tacklers inside the 30-yard line. Stills on his feet. And a little bit of a fake here. They hand it inside. Left side, top of the screen, 10-5, and out of bounds. A 10 run on Tim Gilligan. Nation's leading scorer, averaging 46.6 points a game. Talking about Boise State. Boise still fighting. Touchdown, Boise State. Uh, there's an example of why he was the offensive player of the year in the Western Athletic Conference. The game led the country in scoring. Record-setting running back as Goliath Kai's extra point is no good. The kick is off, so Alex Jones' kick is up and deep at the goal line. That's yet. Dancing through, 30-yard line, and that's where defensive coordinator for Florida. He's the new head coach at East Carolina. He'll be headed up to Greenville following that bowl game. Swing pass out to Hiawatha Rutland. They just have not been able to get to any kind of rhythm, any kind of momentum on their side, and nobody's really stepped up and forced that to happen. Sort of like their season. But some of his players didn't step up. Critical third down for the Cyclones, trying to keep the drive alive. They toss it up, it's sort of a fade, and overthrows Jack Whitner. They're down by 17 with less than four or five minutes to go in this one. Critical fourth down. Santa Wallace has a receiver over the middle and makes the catch for the first down. Great clutch catch by Jamal fourth Montgomery. Down. Easy catch, makes a good one though. to the sidelines. Rutland gets out of bounds. After four minutes and six seconds more of this one here in Boise, Idaho. Wallace, plenty of time, and overthrows when Dirk Cutter left for Arizona State two years ago. Great job by Lowell and Cutter. Wallace tucks it, takes off. 
Needs to get to the 40-yard line. Has the first down. Scampers down and dives out of bounds. They want to keep him around here. He used to not here for years now. Arkansas. Cutter is at Arizona State. They want to keep Hawkins here. Perfect pass down inside the 20 again. That's Lane Danielson. And now the passing uh, because of that, but he got them playing hard and they maintained at the end of the year and got themselves into one. As the pass is over, Tony, talk about the names with Dan McCarty and company. He's done a great job. The players love playing for him. He's, he's very emotional, very animated, and, and they've got a good one there. They would be lucky. To State trying to get on the board. They fade to the end zone and almost picked off. Crowd starting to come alive here at Bronco Stadium. Toward the end zone and running the flag in the sixth annual crucial dot com humanitarian ball. Wallace calls his own number and can't get there. West knows. Up in goal for the Cyclones. Wallace hands it off in reverse to Danielson. Has some room. There's one guy to beat. Let a block. And touchdown for Iowa State. What a block by Lance Young. His fellow wide receiver came back without that block. And the snap is fumbled. And a conversion will fail. So it's 11 points. No matter how many times you practice it, you just got to get lucky. Banneke with the kick and right into the stomach of Wes Nurse to free safety. This young man can play at the next level. The question is, will he be a quarterback? Morsi on the handoff. Morsi on the handoff, straight ahead. And he'll get about two and a half. There was some skepticism when Hawkins took over. Are we going to continue to have the same kind of success? And the early success convinced them of that. Pass downfield to the fullback, Matt Strophus. And he waits and he waits. Then we the shovel pass to Forsey and nothing to it. tries to cut it back, still stopped short. With that strong surge in the second half, Iowa State just didn't have an answer. Dead winning, wide open in the end zone, touchdown for the Broncos, Lou Fanuki. <laughs> Nick Kalai Kai for the extra point. Kick is up and good. Boise State ranked 15th in the nation, 8-0 in the Western Athletic Conference. They are 27 seconds away from winning the crucial dot-com humanitarian bowl. Uh, being his quarterbacking in the NFL may have been his height, 5'10". Right at 5'10", 195. Right snap, first five-yard penalty. He could at least come back and finish out the game. His last year was like that. Final 20 seconds of this one. Wallace uh, unloads it for the sixth annual Crucial.com humanitarian ball. Wallace looking and overthrows the receiver. That, that's a losing battle. He, he was going to get so few the way. He just gave up. Pass complete. There will be one more play in the... Uh, they control the line of scrimmage. They came out and played physical football. Both sides of the ball, not only the offensive line, but the defense as well. Final play of this one. Seneca Wallace appropriately will tuck it and try to do it himself, and he just can't quite get there. Once again, our final score in the sixth annual Crucial.com Humanitarian Bowl. Boise State 34, Iowa State 16. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For more, log on to ESPN.com. Coming up next, the Axon Liberty Bowl from Memphis, Tennessee. For Randy Wright, Heather Cox, and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Jerry Punch saying so long from Boise. And once again, congratulations to the Broncos of Boise State.